Boredom is struck aboard B-303. Patrolling the North Atlantic almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. We have been lurking in the waters off the Rockall Bank for days now, and not so much as a whale has crossed our path. Our sonar operator is constantly sweeping, searching for the merchant ships we are tasked with eliminating. Nothing but flow noise is heard. This must be a similar feeling to what German U-boat skippers felt, scouring the North Atlantic for shipping, going weeks on end without a sighting. At long last, however, we made contact with what seemed to be a convoy. The chase was on and we stalked our prey for about a day, attempting to wiggle our way into a suitable firing position. On the morning of September 15th, the boredom was over. B-303 was in a suitable attack position and all hands manned their battle stations. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to our 1984 USSR campaign and Cold Waters. We have been on patrol in the North Atlantic looking for NATO convoys, and we have finally stumbled across one here. It is around midday and we can hear them kind of banging away on active. It also looks like there is a helicopter in the mix. Let's rig our boat for ultra quiet. We are above the layer. Thankfully, there's a weak layer at the very least at 74 meters, so that should definitely help us hide. Let's try to identify these targets. I am guessing they are NATO warships. Ticonderoga, no. I guess they could also be our merchant ships that we are looking for. Who the heck knows? There's so many... So many various things that could be... Oh, Sierra 3 is kind of close. I am not a fan of that. Here we go. Okay, modern NATO cargo ship. Perfect, that's our target. As you can see, we have loaded quite a few 5365K torpedoes in our tubes. I also have a single Test 71, just in case there was a submerged contact. I almost thought this was for a second. And then we have one USET 80, just to have kind of a multi-role torpedo. Okay, we have a Nox out here. And Sierra 2, what could you be, my friend? Another cargo ship. Looks like there is a helicopter buzzing around. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the boat down to 200 meters now. We have to remember, we have to be above 108 meters to launch our 5365K torpedoes. Additionally, I think I'm going to swap out tubes 1 and 2 with our 5365Ks. Let's go ahead and begin loading them. Hopefully the crew is not too loud when switching out the torpedoes here. Okay, we are down at 213 meters. Sierra 3 is 12 kilometers away. This Nox is turning north, which is putting us in her wake. Let's increase speed to... Let's go to 10 knots here. Here's a Nox, by the way. Good looking ship. Just lost contact on the two cargos. Let's mark them. Let's continue on this current course as well. Can the Nox actually hear us? No, she cannot, thank goodness. She is kind of moving through these <laughs> North Atlantic swells here at 18 knots. It is quite choppy out, so that will uh, help us. And it also looks like her helicopter is operating to the north as well, so it is really no factor at this moment. I'm going to maintain this depth of 200 meters, and, mm, no, and we will stay at 10 knots. We're not gonna go any faster than this, just to attempt to remain undetected for as long as possible. Well, this is interesting. I think we may have been detected at this point. The cargo ships are making a slight turn to the north here. Let's see how much they turn. And let's rig for ultra quiet real quick. Looks like the Nox may have actually picked us up on active here. She can't hear us with her passive sensors. Let's see, are these cargos going to completely turn tail? Because that would be problematic. They are 8.6 kilometers away. Now it looks like they're continuing back on their course. Fantastic. Made a slight change in course.
Okay, let's increase speed back to five knots here. I just want to get closer to ensure hits with our Wacomers. That is all. Because, honestly, we've fired so many Wacomers, and a lot of them just end up missing the wakes. I want to be sure we can actually get to the wakes here. Now, it looks like they have continued on their course. What's the speed of these guys? They are moving at a speed of 10 knots. Kind of a situation where I wish I had uh, anti-ship missiles. That would prove very useful in this scenario. That being said, I think we still have this situation more or less under control. Okay, we are starting to get nice and close to the cargoes. As a matter of fact, I think it is time to fire. We are six kilometers away from Sierra 1, four kilometers away from Sierra 2, and three from Sierra 3. Let's come up to 107 meters, please. And we will get ready to fire. This Nox just killed its speed. It's currently making five knots. She's just sitting here kind of listening for us, which is great, which is great. Thankfully, we will be able to fire from beneath the layer. However, once we fire, I'm sure we will immediately be detected here. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll. The boat is now at 107 meters. Let's get ready to fire tube one. We are going to fire it right there. There we go, tube one away. Let's get ready to fire tube two, tube two away. Tube three, we'll go straight for Sierra two, three away. Tube four away. We will hold on to our last two fish for the Nox. Let's begin loading our last 5365K torpedoes. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and send one towards the Nox here. Let's see here. Let's shoot one right there. There we go. Torpedo away. Okay, with all the fish away. Oh, we have another left. Let's go ahead and send it towards the Nox as well. One more. We're just going to dump all of these torpedoes. Okay, time to drop down. Down to 300 meters. Let's begin loading. You said 80s, mosses as well will be great. And start dropping the boat down to 300 meters. These torpedoes look pretty darn good. I think they are going to hit the cargo ship wakes. I think we're in business. There we have it. One NATO cargo ship has been taken out successfully. She is going down. We have fish heading towards Sierra 2 here as well. Oh, it looks like this cargo was just hit by another torpedo. Definitely overkill. Probably could have fired less. We'll see if any of these torpedoes end up hitting the Nox here. If not, I think we are going to be able to get out of here. Let's change course. Sierra 2 is next. There we have it, two cargo ships going down. The Nox doesn't seem to be... Yeah, she cut to the left here. I don't think we are going to be able to hit her wake. That is fine. We are going to hold on to the remainder of our torpedoes. We still have a pretty good amount in stores, so I think we are now going to disengage, get that... Oh, here we go. That's where the fun begins. Torpedoes are in the water. Let's change course. Start moving a little quicker and get the heck out of here. Let's try to disengage at this point. Oh, there's another torpedo there. I'm not a fan of that. Down to 305. Increase speed to 8 knots. Well, here's the situation. This Nox is charging at us, and I think we are going to torpedo it. Let's begin coming up to 107. Get ready to shoot tube number 4 here. Right at this Nox change course slightly new heading 046 come right 
And yeah, she is charging right at us at a speed of 20 knots. And she can hear us on active, but that's about all. Alright. Well, you want to fight? You're going to get one. Alright, we're up at depth. We're at 124 meters. Let's come up a little quicker. Up on the planes. We can actually see the Nox there. She dropped a torpedo in the water. That's what that is. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Okay, passing 107. Alright. And we will fire right here. Shoot two four. Two four away. Increase speed to 15 knots. And this is one hell of a game of chicken we are playing with this Nox. There is a torpedo in the water. Let's break north. Making 15 knots. Perfect. The Nox is changing course. Let's hit it right here. There we go. Another torpedo away. Perfect. I think we're good here. This torpedo should hit the wake. But I want to be sure we actually take out this Nox since it is quite the threat. And that should be the last of our 5365K torpedoes. We have five U-Set 80s and four Test 71s. So we should still be able to remain on patrol for a little while here. And yeah, this Nox is A hauling ass, so it is making quite the wake. Honestly, let's see here. What the heck is that? Okay, that's our torpedo. Let's change course. Head back towards the target. And she did drop a Mark 46 into the water, however. Can't actually hear it. There we go. Torpedoes are fixating on the wake. This Nox is done for. Perfect. That's a good way to get out of the combat area by sinking all the enemies. I'm not sure where that Mark 46 ran off to. Not much of a problem, though. Perfect. There we go. The Nox was hit with two 5365K torpedoes, and she is now going down. That's all three ships in the encounter sunk. Quite the tally for us. Hopefully High Command is satisfied with these results. Uh, chances are they won't be, because they always find something to nitpick. <laughs> and with that, we are clear to leave the engagement area. Let's go ahead and do just that. Leave combat. One Nox, two modern, modern cargo sunk. 29,000 tons sent down to the bottom. Let's continue on. This was not our mission objective. You have got to be kidding me. That was exactly our mission objective. I knew they would find something wrong. <laughs> Let me review orders. Uh, part of this operation, combat patrol, area of your choosing, attack priority targets such as troop convoys and large battle groups. Okay, well, you know what? All right, I can't believe they are not satisfied with that. I am I'm very upset. Anyway, we will continue patrolling the Western approaches and uh, we'll see what we find over here. All right, rig the boat for ultra quiet right off the bat. Let's figure out what this is first and foremost. This is, this is probably a surface vessel. some sort of merchant ship yeah oh it's a whale okay blue whale and CR2 that's our submarine friend for sure possibly maybe not is this really not a sub what profile is this Rafalgar no although that would be cool to see out here okay let's check freighters Is it a freighter? This is an odd profile. There we go. Uh, another whale. Okay, two whales hanging out by each other. Cool. Alright, let's change course. New heading. Um, zero, 070 zero should be good. Conditions, no layer or anything like that. We are rigged for ultra quiet. And now we lay in wait. We'll see if we can pick out this enemy submarine. 
before she hears us. I'm guessing it is another American SSN, so that should be quite exciting to go up against. Here we go. We're in business. New sonar contact. What is this pro? Is this another whale? Is this a... This is not a submarine, is it? No way. Out here? That's boring. I was hoping it'd be an SSN. Doesn't look like it can be a Trafalgar. <laughs> Alright, let's blow this thing out of the water then. Alright, let's use some time compression. What's it got? Like tigerfish or something? Um, honestly, I'm I'm kind of halfway tempted just to shoot at it now. Okay, let's increase speed to ten knots. Yeah, let's get moving. All right, change course. I am not intimidated. Whatsoever. What's her range? Five kilometers. There we go. It's going active. It's shooting its tigerfish at us. Uh, Crimea River. All right, let's shoot uh, tube two. Now, there we go, tube two away. We'll just fire a U set 80. No need to use a test 71, I don't think. It should zigzag. Increase speed to five knots, drop down, 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 down. 300 meters, please. And she is going ham, egg, and cheese with these tiger fish. Um, all right, let's get her to do conduct one evasive maneuver and snap all the wires. And there's no way they can have there's no way this uh, Auburn is capable of having that many wires. I would be shocked if it could have four wires, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's change course, head south. All right, this will be a fun little fight. Dropping down quickly. Going deep. Good news, our U set 80 has already acquired Sierra 3. However, we have another contact here. Sierra 4, let's reduce speed to five knots and give it a listen. Additionally, we are going to want to change course here. Sierra 4 is using active sonar and it has fired a torpedo our direction. Oh, wow, we are kind of caught in a, like a little pincer movement here. Um, what is Sierra 4? Another, yeah, another one of you. All right, in that case, what's her depth to? She is shallow. Have this torpedo come up and fire tube four. There we go, tube four away, heading towards that target. We're gonna try to thread this gap here. We'll see if that's possible. You said 80 is coming in on Sierra three, looking good. Let's increase speed back to 10 knots. Get moving. All right. Two torpedoes, two subs, hopefully. We'll see. All right, that is one Oberon taken out. We have our other U set 80 kind of swimming over towards Sierra 4. We'll see. Additionally, it looks like we are indeed threading this needle between all of these tiger fish. Let's increase speed to 15 knots. Try to get out of the way of this one, which is our newest threat. We'll see if this U set 80 actually acquires. That other U set 80 did quick work of CR3, so I'm actually pretty happy with the performance of these torpedoes thus far. They are quite good. That being said, we only have three left, apparently. Yeah, we have three. We have four test 71, so that's good. All right, good news. Our U set 80 is homing in on Sierra 4. This torpedo is just swimming past us. I'm hoping it lost the wire. We are going to actually turn into it. What's this torpedo's operating depth? That's my next question. How deep is it? Looks like it's operating. Oh, yep, there we are. We're pretty, we're nice and deep. Let's try to get underneath it. And this U set 80 is messing around with this Oberon's countermeasures. Hopefully it'll be able to acquire. Looking good so far. Looks like it's reacquired the target and homing in on her. All right, this is our main threat though. There's the enemy fish. We're nice and deep here. Just hanging out right at 305 meters, making 15 knots looking good. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we will be successful in evading all these torpedoes. 
And now we just have to wait and uh, see if our torpedo ends up hitting Sierra 4, which I think it will. Oh no, I think our torpedo actually ran out of fuel. Let's reduce speed. I think it exploded. Oh my gosh, it's just counterfired on us. Okay. All right, let's shoot a test 71. I know I just said I would save it for SSNs, but unfortunately for us, we only have uh, three of these USAT 80s and four test 71, so let's go ahead and use it. Also, she launched a torpedo like over here or something. So, uh, these poor whales all over the place in the middle of a combat zone. Anyway, hopefully we reacquire Sierra 4. This test 71 will definitely be able to guide in and sink her. Well, it looks like Sierra 4 launched two torpedoes going off into the middle of nowhere. I'm not too concerned about those. Our test 71 is heading straight for her and we'll have it activate here. That should be good enough for us. This humpback whale's running away. This one's kind of caught in the middle here. Let's, um, rig for ultra quiet while we're at it. Okay, and you know what? I think it's time to activate this test 71. Go active, please. There we go, it is active. We'll steer it towards Sierra 4. We have it only using passive sensors. Let's see, go active. There we go, immediately acquired, perfect. Good, homing in on the target. As long as we keep this 95% solution, we should be able to manually guide the torpedo in. Sierra 4 just dropped a noisemaker. Doesn't look to be too effective. All right, torpedoes heading straight for the target. Looking pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Yeah, man, here we go. That's an impact. Impact right underneath the sail. That's Sierra 4 going down. We have continued our patrol in the North Atlantic and we have another submerged contact bearing 258. Let's assess what this is. I think I can already tell rig for ultra quiet. Looks like it is in fact a skipjack. Um, it could be a permit. No, it's definitely a skipjack. Nice and close. We'll see. There's no way it's 21 kilometers. <laughs> away from us there is absolutely not a snowball's chance in hell that we would be able to hear it at that range she is operating pretty much at the same depth as us hanging out at 52 meters we're going to try to get nice and close to the skipjack and fire off a fish at close range hopefully that will help ensure a hit because of the skipjack's just insane top speed of 30 knots which we is problematic for sure for our torpedoes at least our test 71s which i probably will utilize during this fight Well, I think it's pretty much now or never to fire our torpedoes at the skipjack, so we are going to go ahead and engage with one USET-80. We'll send it right this way, have it activate pretty late, there we go, tube one away. I'm not sure that'll be enough for the skipjack, there we go, she is counter firing. Shoot tube one, test 71. One wire guided, one non wire guided. That should be good for us. Let's increase speed to 15 knots. And I'm thinking of heading east. Let's change course, new heading 089. Let's go. Additionally, it's time to drop the boat down to 305 meters. And let's see, the skipjack's really starting to move now. Let's activate, let's see, 22 minutes. 
Let's activate our test 71. 11 minutes. Let's have it rush towards the skipjack. Okay, the situation for our skipjack friend is not looking good at all. The USET-80 has acquired the target and is homing in. Additionally, our test 71 is coming up the rear. Let's have it. Let's have this torpedo come up and match depth. It is going active. Perfect. That is fine. And it looks like the skipjack has its hands full with our USET-80. It got thrown off by a countermeasure, which was just dropped. We have bypassed this Mark 48. Uh, the skipjack has counterfired again, though, with another Mark 48. Let's change course, head west, Let's head west, and re-guide this torpedo in, which is being distracted by the noisemaker in the water. Looking good, though. I think we have the skipjack in the bag, and this will be another SSN, our second SSN sunk in the Tango. Overall, I have been enjoying the Tango. It is quite a capable boat. It's definitely a step up from the Foxtrot in regards to sensors and honestly, weaponry. Uh, having the USET-80 at our disposal has proven to be great. And I did receive a lot of comments regarding me taking the 5365K torpedoes. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of you are were right in telling me that these, why am I taking these? It's kind of pointless. Um, the USET-80 are dual purpose and are frankly better in almost every regard, so I'm just going to load up on USET-80s and Test-71s when we return back home. But in the meantime, the chase is on between our torpedoes and Sierra-1 here. Who will win? I have a feeling it will be our torpedoes. Our USET-80 is tracking and it looks like this is a hit. Impact. Looks like right in the reactor space area. Our test 71 is still homing in, but that is all she wrote for the skip jack. Well, folks, with that, we are clear to leave the combat area. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.